So, so we did a top 100 hottest MILF porn stars uh, list. Um, I'll let you know the top five. Okay. And get your take on it. Number five, Naomi Banks. Oh, okay. Taking it back. Number four, Leslie Zen. Okay. Number three, Sarah J. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Number two, Priya and Jolly Rye. Right. Priya Rye. Priya Rye. Priya, Priya Rye, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Priya Rye. Okay. Number one, Lisa Ann. Okay. What's your take on that top five list? It's kind of decent. Like, I like how you went a little old school. Like, hadn't, hadn't heard the Leslie Zen in a minute. And yeah, so that was kind of nice. Um, I don't know if that would be my top five, but that was an interesting top five. <laughs> what would be your top five? Um, you know, I would throw me in the top five somewhere. I don't know where, but somewhere. Because I've done, the, like, a huge majority of my, you know, career has been doing MILF. So, right. I have to throw myself in there. And definitely Lisa. I, I would put Lisa at number one, probably. Um, I'm not sure exactly who else I would have on there. But I don't think I would have the other three on there. On the top five. They might be on the top, like, 20. Okay. Yeah. Anyone else you could think of in the top five? Um... Wow. Yeah, like some some like older chicks, maybe like Janet Mason. You know, like I don't know, there's the, there's a, there's there's a lot of MILFs out there that have done a lot of MILF stuff, like a long career of MILFs, like yeah, that's where they that's all they've done, you know. I feel like there's more people that specialize in MILF that are not on that list. <laughs> what do you consider a MILF? Um, MILF like not only is it a physical body type where you're not built like a little girl. But I also feel like it's scenarios, you know, like um, more like adult driven, uh, adult, adult driven kind of scenarios where, you know, it's like a wife or a neighbor or a cougar or, you know, like something like an older woman kind of thing. Um, but I started doing MILF right away. I started doing MILF when I was 23. You were doing MILF at 23? Yeah. <laughs> Is that a little weird? Huh? Is that a little weird? Yeah, it was a little weird, but I got it because I was, even at 23, I was built like a woman. I wasn't built like a child. I wasn't built like a teenager. And there's like, you know, when you look at the genres of porn, there's only like so many. You know, you've got like young girl or like teen, and you got like college girl, and then you got MILF. It's like progression. You know, I was already built like an adult, so I got it. Do you think there's more of a, an excitement over MILFs? Definitely. Absolutely. Yeah? For sure. Definitely. Why, why is that? Um, like, I, I think it's been a, over a period of time, people are starting to, like, really appreciate a woman, a woman's body. They like ass. They like titties. They like both at the same time. And they like a woman who knows what she wants and is maybe a little aggressive or dominant. Like, yeah, I think it's very, I think it's very, like... Fashionable. Because <laughs> you, you don't have kids yourself, do you? No. So, do you get thrown off a little bit, you know, by being called a MILF? Because, I mean, MILF stands for mother, I'd like to fight. Right. But it used, to, it used to kind of throw me off a little bit, and now I just kind of laugh because everybody's like, oh my God, you're my favorite MILF. And all I can think of is, of course, because I'm the MILF with no kids. That's everybody's favorite MILF, right? That's everyone's favorite MILF. Yeah, Lisa, the same way. She doesn't have any kids either. We, we make jokes about that all the time. What's the difference between a, a MILF and a cougar? Um, I think a cougar is ge generally a lot more aggressive. Um, I, I think that uh, a MILF doesn't necessarily have to be aggressive. She can be aggressed upon, she can be a submissive or a dominant, whereas a cougar is always a dominant. Okay. Yeah. What do you consider yourself? A uh, cougar. You're a cougar? <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely a cougar. Yeah, um, I, I'm the type of woman to like aggress on somebody initially and then and then play submissive so yeah that's that's i, I would definitely say i'm a cougar like initially I, I mean what's the the youngest guy that you would um you know you like know, the, 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 yeah, yeah the youngest guy that I, i've messed with is like 18 of course but 18. yeah yeah um but like i generally go for guys between like 25 and 45 and it's kind of a wide span but like before 25 it's like it's rare that I, that I, you know, fuck with somebody that, that age group. Uh, would you go below 18? 
No. If it was legal? If it was legal, no. No. Yeah. Like, honestly, 18, you feel like you're, like, molesting a little boy. <laughs> right. I, I, saw, I saw an interview, I think, with Lisa Ann, and she said how in Nevada you could have sex with, sex with someone who's 16. 16. With a note from their parents. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I never knew it was a note from their parents, but I think it was like, yeah, with parental permission or something like that, yeah. Yeah. So if you got parental parental permission from somebody's parent. Not at all. Not at <laughs> all. No. Maybe when I was 20. <laughs> Maybe when I was 20 I would have, but yeah, no. Honestly, under under 25 is kind of rough for me sometimes. Just really? Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, the guy has to be, has to like look mature and... Yeah, act mature. <laughs> I mean, uh... Although I just, I just recently had sex with a 21-year-old and that was okay. 